Oh, by the way, additionally, the um, uh, heat transfer can also be expressed using a vector or as a vector. Okay, so in our rectangular coordinate, uh, we can uh, also express this, like for example, our uh, Q is equal to, in the vector form, uh, is uh, Q at I direction plus Q at uh, J direction plus Q at K direction, right? So you can also use this um, vector notation or you can also express uh, using a uh, vector. Okay. We're in our uh, I, J, and K is our, our um, unit vectors and our uh, QX, QY, and QZ are the magnitudes of our heat transfer rates in X, Y, and Z directions. Okay, so this can be determined from our um, uh, Fourier's uh, Fourier's law as once again, uh, if we have this, so our um, QX or um, or the magnitude of heat transfer rate in x direction. So using the Fourier law, we have the Ka area at x delta t over uh, I mean uh, uh, partial derivative of t with respect to x. And same principle goes uh, with q and z. So we have the k the area y t over y and for qz we have negative k a at z t over z okay so what else okay Okay, what else? Um, okay, so like any other vector, um, the, uh, the, the heat transfer vector can be resolved into its uh, components like, okay? So say this is our So this is our uh, isotherm. So this is our. So the heat transfer vector is always normal to an um, isothermal surface and can be resolved once again into its components like any other vector. So if this is the uh, uh, isothermal surface, then our uh, vector component is from here always normal to this surface so we have our x this is always normal component x this is now our um, component y and our component z is this part component z okay so our uh, resultant vector having this component is of course if we can now plot the uh, the uh, magnitude of this x y and z so let's say see this is our something like this okay so we have a uh, rectangular um, shape something like this and our uh, Q 
is from this point from this point this point up to this point okay okay my illustration is not that good so let me uh, redraw this oops sorry okay let me redraw this say saying this is our y this is x or maybe um, let me have another value say this is say this for example is our x and this is our z say this much okay say this much then our uh, q is this part here right right so if we're gonna complete uh, complete this uh, rectangle by having these sides then we can now have for illustration purposes so we can have this right so excuse me for my drawing ayan 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 okay so we can express this like what I say like any other uh, vector we can also express our uh, heat transfer vector always normal to an isothermal surface say this is our uh, isothermal surface our isothermal surface and can be resolved into its component so the component of this this uh, vector is the our qx component our qy and our qz component i hope you understand and uh what else so i think that's all for this uh for this uh multi-dimensional heat transfer and Let's now move on to our next classification, which is the um, uh, with or without heat generation. Okay, so in some of our um, heat transfer problems, <coughs> we may encounter some uh, heat generations. And at the same time, we also have uh, some problems that we have no uh, heat generation. So this time it is either with or without heat generation. So when we say heat generation, it is a um, volumetric phenomenon or the heat is being generated or present in a medium. So say this is our uh, medium say this is our uh, medium and uh, if there is some um, some heat that is being generated in this medium then we have the what we call with heat generation and if our assumptions do not contain heat generation on the system then we say it that uh, we have a uh, without heat generation okay and like what i have said heat generation is a 
uh, it is a volumetric phenomenon. Volumetric. Okay. Therefore, the uh, rate of the seed generation in a medium is usually specified if we will uh, gonna um, look at its unit, it is specified per unit volume wherein our heat gen, which is denoted by this letter or symbol, G with, with dot, so our heat gen is, the unit is watt per cubic meter. So it is a volumetric phenomenon and uh, specified per unit volume. Or in uh, other unit, uh, we may... Uh, uh, we may uh, have our uh, our heat generation as BTU per hour cubic feet. Okay. If we have this condition that uh, our um, heat transfer is with with heat generation, then the rate of the seed generation in uh, the medium may vary. So, so let us remember that it may vary with time, okay, as well as the uh, position within the medium, okay. When the variation of heat generation with position is known, with position is known then the rate of heat generation in a medium of volume B can be determined so we can determine uh, the total rate of heat generation in a medium okay so we can uh, determine this the total uh, the total uh, rate of heat generation in a medium of volume V by using this form. Uh, the total heat gen is equal to, of course, the summation or the integral of your um, uh, uh, heat generation in a medium of volume V. Okay from V. Okay. So we have this form.